Hello friends, welcome to Smash the Shell. I am Amit Kumar and in this video tutorial, we are going to create a text knockout effect in which we are simply going to mask an image inside the text. So let's go ahead and get started. So guys, let's go ahead and create a paragraph. So use the p tag, give it a class of text and write some text inside it. So I'm going to write text knockout out that's correct okay let's style this text so i'm gonna write text class and inside this i want to apply some font properties so let's give it a bold style and i'm gonna use 10 rem of font size and maybe go with the helvetica Helvetica and sans serif all right now let's go ahead and set it a background image so that we can clip that image out of this text or kind of mask that image inside this text so let's go ahead and copy the URL of this image and I found this image on the pixels.com so you can find many other images in there so let's copy this URL for now. Let's go ahead and set a background image. Be careful here. You need to use this background image property. So set its URL value to this URL that we have copied. Now you can see that our text is overlaid over this background image. That's right. That's what we wanted. Now let's go ahead and mask this image inside this text so what i'm going to do here is that i want to use a background clip property but please beware that this property is not supported in all the browsers it is only going to be supported in the webkit based browsers such as google chrome or brave so i'm wondering that it will be supported in the future browsers but for now it is not standardized so let's go ahead and use the background clip property and set its value to text and you can see that it has no effect right now but why the reason is that we need to use the webkit prefix so now this property will work and you can see that uh, it has still a solid black color and the masked image is hidden behind this uh, solid black color so we need some ways to hide this solid uh, color so one way is that we can also use a non standard property which is also not supported in any other browsers except brave or google chrome so you can use again webkit text fill color and set its value to transparent so now this effect will work the way i wanted it so this is really looking cool and this was a very interesting effect but if you want to use it in on the production environment i am not sure you should do this because it is not supported in the other browsers i'm wondering we can replace this property with another property which is a standard property um, which is color so let's try whether it's working or not let's right transparent and yeah it's working so we don't need to use this property all right if you like this video tutorial please hit like to this video and subscribe to this channel and comment on this video and let me know what you want to see in my next videos thank you for watching bye bye take care